it, this sort of feels like almost the story of Ken Shamrock. Like, you know, we get a little momentum and then something happens, uh, whether it's an injury or something else that just sidelines his trajectory. D- do you ever think that there's certain talent who, man, timing was just seemingly never on their side. Their career at times just felt snake bit just based on that bad timing. Yeah. I think that there are, you know, probably quite a few, of course, when you put me on the spot to name some, I can't come up with a name, but yes, you know, it does happen. And timing is everything and timing can either make it or break it one way or the other. That's why when someone is coming in and they would be like, Oh gosh, you know, I don't want to do that. It's like, well, you know, if you, you do this, you have an opportunity to now show your wares and make that the absolute best that it can possibly be. That opens up more doors. If you don't do it, someone else is going to do it and be in the story and they may flourish. And all of a sudden you'll be going, Oh man, I wish I had that opportunity. So I would always try to stress to people to always take every opportunity that you have make the most of it whether it's something that you're looking at and go oh hey is this right for me or is this right for my character now look at it as here's an opportunity to show them what i can do whether i can take something that i consider to be bad material and make it the best it can possibly be or i eh, I just don't really want to do it half ass it and then you get half ass results do you think there's, I appreciate that. I'm glad we're having this conversation. Uh, I tend to agree with you, but I do want to know, do you think there's ever a time when a talent should be more protective of their character and say, I don't know about that. Sure. They can. Absolutely. You know, well, I, I, I don't have a problem with, with people being selfish at the same time. You do have to have faith and sometimes you got to go out on a limb. And I believe that the best opportunities are those opportunities that are, not necessarily, hey, here you go. We're going to give you all of this and put all this behind you. The best opportunities are the opportunities that you make the most out of. Some called Steve Austin and Austin 316 just whipped your ass. That was taking an opportunity to talk after the King of the Ring and make it a lot more than just an interview. There are different opportunities as you you know go along the way that can help define a career and if you weren't there in it then you don't have that opportunity how do you identify as a talent how do you know is there a rule of thumb is there a piece of advice that you would say like a a mindset or a mentality to make that approach to sort of identify hey this is something that i should go for and roll the dice on or hey this is probably something i should try to pull back on Look, man, if you, if you want to be a star, you got to be on TV and you got to be able to do things and show that you have a range, all right. right? If you want to be a one-dimensional thing and this is all I want to do, then you're going to be a one-dimensional character that people are going to forget about pretty quickly. It's range and it's being able to do a lot of different things. And although you may think, oh my God, this is going to kill my career. Well, you know, sometimes it can make your career. And you just have to, you have to do the best. Not everything is going to work. Nobody, you know, if we had that crystal ball to be able to see, well, this is going to work perfectly, then by God, you've got a crystal ball. You got to try things. You got to experiment. And I think it's important a lot of times for talent to have input in what they do. I also think it's important for them to have faith as well. 